Good morning, Oracles. Well, I'm off on an adventure, as you can see. And if you can guess where I'm at, you get a prize of a thumbs up emoji. Uh, and no, the guest cannot be in the middle of the woods because yes, that's where I'm at. Um, I hope my, my planning skills for the market are significantly better than my planning skills for hiking because I forgot some very important things and some food. So I'm hiking with half as much water as I wanted and pizza, which is going to play out very well for me, I, I hope. But looking at the markets, Tesla right now is up a little bit pre-market. As of the time of this recording, we're about 1% up. So we're looking good. Let's see if we can get a win streak. Three days in a row green. That would be outstanding. I mean, look at all the green here. I couldn't possibly make it any more green than it is right now. So let's see if we can hold this. And uh, I was just starting to piece together some of the some of the tweets that Elon has sent out recently, along with some of the actions that Tesla has taken over the last two years. And so looking at Tesla's situation right now, they've got about $18 billion in cash and they're increasing their cash flow every single quarter. And what have we talked about on here as far as what a great strategy is to deal with this bear market and potential recession that we're in? Well, it's having cash on hand and cash flow generation. So Elon and Tesla have been preparing for this for two years. I mean, Elon's not stupid. He's mentioned many a time that, you know, when you print up trillions and trillions of dollars, you're inevitably going to get inflation. So Elon must have seen this as a potential possibility and they've prepared for it. So right now they're sitting on a ton of cash and the cash flow. And then Elon yesterday tweeted out thinking that we could potentially have a 12 to 18 month recession, which in his eyes is a good thing because that's gonna help clean out a bunch of the dead weight companies that are out there that are just, just leaking money all over the place. So this could be good. And we've talked about it before where if we get into a recession, you know, it's going to stink to go through it, obviously, for a lot of people, for a lot of different reasons, not just us as Tesla shareholders. But coming out of it, Tesla might actually be stronger than if we didn't get a recession because there's going to be less players in the field. Tesla will be able to have the strongest foothold, whereas even people who do survive coming out of it might actually be struggling a lot more than they are right now which is going to give Tesla an even better upper hand. And as we've talked about before, you know, sometimes a recession like this, I mean, usually we go through this cycle every 10 years. You know, I look back in history, it's usually about every 10 years or so that we go through it. And it's a good thing. It actually really is. You know, sometimes you just need to get that cleanse down. Similar to like, you know, if you're looking at health and nutrition, you know, you go through maybe a three-day cleanse to just kind of get all the toxins out of your body. Maybe it's a 30-day, whatever it is. But there's so many different things out there in life for all sorts of stuff that just point to it's good to get a cleanse and get a reset. Take a couple of steps back and then this way when you take those couple of steps back, you can actually move forward faster. I learned this the hard way when I was working out. When you work out too much, you get to the point of overtraining. And when you've hit overtraining, you start to get injured. And that becomes a bigger problem and then your body forces you to take that time off and sometimes you don't get to recover as well as you did before. So if we are taking this recession right now as just that, and unfortunately I think sometimes in the market, it ends up being that it's like an overtraining and you're forced to take those that time down. But either way, I think we're going into this. I think it's gonna be a very good thing. And again, I don't know where the bottom is. I think we might end up getting a little bit of a deeper bottom, but wherever it's going to be, is actually going to be a great signal for us to let us know who the strongest players are going to be coming out of this. And the place to look to see which companies are going to be coming out of this is going to be who has the most cash on hand, who has the best cash, cash flow generation, and that's it. And who has, you know, the, the customer flow, a growing customer base that's coming in. Those three pieces alone will indicate who are going to be the biggest players coming out of this. Obviously, Tesla is one of the biggest, if not the biggest potential coming out of all of this. And then if you're looking at what companies are gonna fail, 
well, look at what industries are dying. Look at whose growth is non-existent or negative. Look who has a lot of debt and look who has little to no cash flow generation. Those are the companies that are going to be in trouble. Those are the companies that are going to go to the wayside. When we talk about disruptive futures, this is what we're looking at. This moment in time right now is where we're going to see this disruption. We saw it back in 2008 and 2009 where we had all this disruption going on, housing market crashed, and who emerged? All brand new players that were kind of beginning their companies, but just took off. The FANG stocks. You look at all of them, they're the ones who emerged because they're the ones who disrupted technology at the time. We're about to go through another one of those phases right now. So for the next, as Elon says, 12 months to 18 months, you know, maybe you can consider the first six months of this year as the, f the first six months of that. So maybe we end by the end of this year or by next summer. But I think coming out of this, we are going to have a very nice 2023. And so, yes, I want to enjoy these green days that we have right now. Again, don't think we're in the clear. I think we have definitely a rocky road ahead of us. But go back in time. Look back to the dot-com bubble crash. Look back to the housing market crash and think about all of the drama and all of the pain everyone felt during those times. I mean, it's the exact same emotional swings we are all feeling right now. And looking back at them, those are the times we wish we bought the most. It's just history repeating itself. It really is. So that's why these times right now have cash ready to go. Don't spend it all right now. Add little bits at a time and get yourself some cash flow generation for even more stuff in the future. Again, this is not financial advice. This is what I'm doing and just my suggestions for myself. But if you choose to do it, doing so at your own free will and good luck. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think we are going to actually get into a recession? As Elon says, do you think we're going to catch this 12 to 18 month recession and clean out a bunch of the deadweight stocks and companies that are out there? And if so, how strong do you think Tesla is going to be coming out of this? And also you can guess where I'm at. It's north of where I live. I live in Connecticut. And there's a lot of 4,000 foot mountains up here. So anybody from New England probably knows. Um, otherwise, uh, check in the description. I do have a Discord channel that I started up. Very small, I'm actually still learning the platform myself. But we've got Discord, we've got a few guys in there. Studio Malaka, Gabach. Uh, really looking to, to get a good community going of everyone who wants to go over there and have a chat. So please feel free to hop on joining our discussions over there. It'd be nice to start up a little Oracle Tesla community over there and have us all, all chat and discuss what's going on in our lives and investing. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and feedback. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Sign yourself up for notifications. I am over on Twitter at Oracle Tim one I share all the latest Tesla news, pertinent stock market information, and all of my daily trades. Thank you so much. Have a great one.